Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Yasharal and Yehuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. Listen, we are usually at it again, but we had a computer malfunction. An internet malfunction. But we the people of the book broadcast is going to go down with my Aki's lesson today. The lesson is entitled The Love and Law of Hamashiach's Torah. And man, this Aki again, he's done a beautiful job in presenting this word. This word that brings life. And uh, I am just so proud and so honored to have him to be a bearer of the Torah and to provide some word to me and to you. So, you won't hear me today, but you will hear my Aki. And Aki Yaakov ben Zion Gaal. Listen, give your attention to this word because this word is a blessing and it is a Torah full of truth and without any other delay i'm just going to go ahead and um uh, introduce to him introduce you to him and again um yakov ben zion gaal the message is entitled the love and the law of mashiach's torah and i thank you for this act so again without further ado um, the voice you're going to hear is going to be his. And be blessed. With that, I say, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Abba Yahuwah, I pray, I pray, I pray, Abba Yahuwah, I pray. That the words of his mouth and the meditation of his heart would be acceptable in your sight. Abba Yahuwah, I pray right now in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach that you would take the reins of my lips, his lips, the reins of everyone that comes in his lips. Yahuwah have the preeminence. We take authority over every wicked ruach, every spirit, every power that is set itself up against this lesson Today, every evil ruach is going to try to disrupt, to try to just hinder the flow of what's happening. Today, every entity, every power, we bring it under the, the subjection of the name of Yahushua, and the blood of Yahushua, by the authority that you've given us. Uh, you said you would honor the words that we speak in the arrests, in Imunah. In Yahushua Hamashiach, you would honor him in the Shamayim. So Abba Yahuwah, everything that the enemy is trying to do, cause it to cease and, cease and desist in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Now, Abba, I thank you. I give you praise. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, our strength and our redeemer. Hallelujah. All praise to Abba Yahuwah. And his son Yahushua Hamashiach for this witness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, um, two things. One, I just got a rebuke. Um, because as you're praying, there's a, there's somewhere that the Most High wants me to go with this word, but I can't go in fullness because I haven't done my part. Um, I'll probably be done with the book of Isaiah, and I'm not done with the book of Isaiah. So, um, because there are things that aren't clarified in Christianity that keeps a lot of uh, that keeps a lot of our people blind to understanding uh, scripture. One, they don't know scripture; they've only read the New Testament. They base their foundation on this reversal, where it's the New Testament that they read first and then look back. And try to look at what's here, what's what's in the law and the prophets in the through a lens of the pistols instead of the other way around. That's backwards because the apostles taught from the law and the prophets. Yeah. 
So you can't look at what they wrote and then look back and try to understand the law and the prophets. You have to have understanding of the law and the prophets to understand the insight they are giving. Right. Um, and to understand why, what, what they mean by certain things. What does it mean to be under the curse of the law? Because mm -hmm. this isn't complicated. Right. And it's it's different from being so there are certain things that are written that are different than and and so you have to be able to tease them apart. There's the curse of the law, then there's the law of sin and death. Right. There are different things. Yahusha operates differently. His atonement covers all things. All right. Yet these are different things. The curse of the law. So in in the in the book of Galatians, I'm gonna read out of the KGV right now. Um it says in Galatians 3, it says, Um, O foolish Galatians, who hath be with you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Yahushua Hamashiach have been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only what I learn of you receive ye the spirit by the works of the law. Or by the hearing of faith. So now we're dealing with how did you receive the Ruach HaKodesh? Oh. Right. Paul is asking, how did you receive the Ruach HaKodesh? And was it by works or by the hearing of faith? Right. Now, this doesn't preclude works. It can't. It can't do away with works. Right. He's asking, how did you receive? Right. Because right. there's no way, because scripture says that we are that we are saved onto good works. Yes. Right. So what is the order? Right. And the reason why what is the order is so that there is no room for vanity. There's no room for anybody to be puffed up on saying, look what I have done. Yeah. Most high was would not allow that. This is why he removed all all he is that I abhor all of it. I'm doing away with your priesthoods. You won't even remember who you were. So now we're dealing with the curse of the law as opposed to the law of sin and death. Right? Mm -hmm. So this only what I learned you, receive you the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are ye so foolish, having begun in the spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? He therefore that ministereth to you the spirit and work of miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Even as Abraham believed Yah, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith the same are the children of Abraham. What so now? What does it mean to believe? Right, because we're talking about the hearing of faith. What does it mean to hear from the Most High and to believe and have it counted for you for righteousness? Right, Abraham believed the Most High not only when he promised him Isaac, but when he commanded him to walk to right. to, to stand before me and be perfect, to walk before me and be perfect. He believed him and and moved in that order that he would provide a way for him to do those things. And the proof of that as is in Genesis. In Genesis. Genesis 17. The Most High said to Abraham, And when Avram was 90 years old and nine, Yahuwah would appear to El Avram and said unto him, I am El Shaddai. Walk before me. And be perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. So there's here's the prerequisite, and here's the proof of fulfillment. Right? I'm giving you a promise. Walk before me and be perfect, and I will make my covenant between you and I. Yes. All right. The word perfect here. Uh. 
complete whole entire sound unimpaired innocent having integrity what is complete or entirely in accord with truth and fact well what is truth yahushua says in john 17 what truth is He says, sanctify them through your truth. Your word is truth. Mm -hmm. So he is to be perfect in the word, in the Torah that was given unto him. Right. The proof that it was a Torah given unto him Is that your is that Yahuwah tells Yitzhak, because that Avrahim obeyed my voice and did guard my watch, my commandments, my statutes, and my Torah. So, so mm -hmm. we see fulfillment of covenant. So then so mm -hmm. it starts off in verse one saying, And there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of Avrahim, and Yitzhak went unto Avimelech, king of the Palestine, unto Gerar. And Yahuwah appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Mitzrayim. Dwell in the land which I shall tell you of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with you, and I will bless you. For unto you and unto your seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swore unto Avraham your father. Why is he going to perform this oath? Because Yahuwah, Avraham moved in faith. When, right. when Yahuwah said, Walk before me and be perfect, and I will and I will make my covenant with you. Abraham believed him. The proof that he believed him is that he walked before him and was perfect. The proof that he walked before him and was perfect, that he was whole, that he had that he held integrity to the word that was given to him, is that Yahuwah tells Yitzhak, because that Abraham obeyed my voice and did guard my watch, my commandments, and my statutes, and my Torah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So when so when we're looking at New Testament scriptures or we're looking at the epistles right we cannot remove the understanding of we cannot we don't have we don't have a basis of what was written about the patriarchs about about the witness that they left about the oaths and the covenants, then we have no idea what we're looking at now and reading. We don't have a way to, to define believing. We don't have a way to define faith. We don't have a way to define the difference between the works of the law. What does that mean? What does that mean? How, how, what, how do we define the works of the law that somehow have nothing to, that are not of faith? Right. Right. What is Paul talking about to this 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 uh this assembly? Paul's talking about uh the book of limitations. Uh-uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Uh, I know it's I know it's here. It says I abhor your 
your Sabbaths and your holy days? Uh-uh. All right. Let me see. Yahuwah has accomplished his fury. He has poured, verse 11, he has poured out his fierce anger and has kindled a fire in Zion, and it has devoured the foundations thereof. The kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem for the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her. They have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood so that men could not touch their garments. They cried unto them, Depart ye, it is unclean. Depart, depart, touch not. When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, They should no more sojourn there. And I'm, I'm uh, 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 nope, I passed. I know it's here. Ah, uh, I gotta look it up. I abhor. He says, "I abhor your feast days and your holy days." Oh, to help me out. I'm, I'm on it. <clears throat> um, there's one in Amos. That's it what says, I hate, I despise your feast day, mm -hmm. and I I will not smell it in your solemn mm -hmm. feast. Yep, that's that's, that's that's Amos. Amos five and twenty one. Throw limitations. All right. That's exactly what it is. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh. He says, I hate, I hate, I despise your feast days and will not smell in your solemn assemblies, though you offer me ascending smoke offerings and your oblations, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the beast offerings of your fat beasts. Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your of your vials. Then Yahusha tells Yahusha tells. So Paul is Paul is the people who have come along, come amongst the Galatians, who have followed behind everywhere that the apostles were going, and were looking to reestablish, to looking to establish what they established in Jerusalem, what they established in Yehuda under Herod. Right? You had the mm -hmm. the uh, Yahusha says that um, you make proselytes of men and turn them to seven times the sons of hell. Right? right. That's in. Um, that's in um Matthew. I can't spell my fingers too fat to type right. Mm -hmm. Make proselytes of men, proselytes. Mm 
Ouais, ouais, ouais. Ouais, ouais, All right, I need your help again. Yeah, I'm I'm on it. Um what was it? What was it? What was it in reference? Was it was it is it what I know the scripture, but I'm trying to I'm trying to establish He's rebuking the Pharisees in their practices, and he tells them. Is a rebuke of the Pharisees. You remember the basis of the parable or the basis of the argument? Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. Matthew, Matthew 23, 15. I knew it was Matthew. I just couldn't get to where Matthew. Matthew 23, 15. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's start with, uh, verse 1. And then spoke mm -hmm. the to the multitude and to his Talmudim, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moshe's seat. Right. They sit in the seat of authority. Right. They sit as the givers. So now they sit in Moshe's seat. They sit as the givers of law. Right. As the, Moshe <laughs> produced the law. He produced the Torah. He sat with the Most High. The Most High gave him Torah. He set the order. And then and within the order, the priests had a job to do, right? right? People had to obey. The scribes and the Pharisees have set themselves in that seat. They put All themselves before, in it. Yep, they set themselves in, the, in, in, in Moshe's seat, right? All right. therefore, whatsoever he bids you guard, that, dil that diligently guard and do, but do not ye... <laughs> But do not ye after their reforms and traditions, for they say and do not. Mm -hmm. So now we're dealing with the works of the law. They are in the position of law. Mm -hmm. And he tells you to guard and do that, which is what which, that which they do, but not their reforms. Not their reforms, nor their traditions. This is what there is no salvation in right this right right, right. well th this is what does not this is the nullifier of right. faith right it nullifies faith 
because Yahushua tells them, by your traditions have you made the word of Yah of no effect. So these are the nullifiers of faith. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the zizits of their garments. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues. And greeting in the markets and to be called of men, rabbi, rabbi. But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your rabbi, even Mashiach, and all ye are brethren. And call no yeah. man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Neither be ye called teachers, for one is your rabbi, even Mashiach. For he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whoso shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore you shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you can pass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more of the child of Gehenna than yourselves. This is who is going, so they cross sea and land to make a proselyte. As the apostles are going out into these foreign lands and, 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 and bringing uh, the light, bringing the witness to a, to a people who are living in a darkened state, who are bound not under the curse of the law, for these are Gentiles. They are bound under the law of sin and death. Right, absolutely, absolutely. He absolutely. is bringing to them the atonement that was that they had never known. He's right, exactly. The atonement of Hamashiach, right? And then exactly. following behind them, having been, having received the witness, having right. an understanding of Torah now uh, in its rightful place, having the understanding right. of they're not bound to do every. They're, they're not bound to make sacrifices. Right? No, absolutely. So you have absolutely. people who are coming in, giving them these atonements that didn't work. But they give them atonements that don't apply to them. They don't apply to them. They don't, don't apply to them. Salvation, salvation. The witness of Yahushua Hamashiach is for the world. It's to the world. Yeah. Right? It's to us first, right? Because us, right? That covenant that came as a result of violation of the Torah, mm -hmm. which is motivated by sin, consciousness, which came from Adam. But the idea is, is that there's a difference between us and them. That's mm -hmm. why even Gentile how converts, right? You really can't. They were never given a Torah. Well, right? They, they were. They were. They were never given a Torah. However, one Torah for all people. Right. Absolutely. And so Absolutely. they they were never given a Torah because their fathers rejected Torah. Right. They chose. So they don't know right. Torah. Right. right, we that and that's the beauty of understanding of starting off in Genesis, and you know reading the books that they tell you not to read, but you understand that there's this narrowing that Noah, if, if, if looking at Noah, Noah taught all three of his sons. There was a rejection right. of Torah. Abraham went to Noah, learned of Noah. He got to spend time. That's that, that's his. Uh, that's the foundations of his upbringing. He right. sought after the Most High. Right. right? He's he availed himself, right? It wasn't that Ham and Jephthah didn't have the same opportunity because right. Noah taught Absolutely. them. So when you see, and even the other sons of Shem, 
right? And the other sons of of, of terror who you know they they walk they they wandered off into idolatry. They wandered off to idolatry. Avraham availing himself, the Most High reveals himself. He's the rewarder of those who seek him diligently. Yes. Right? Avraham availed himself, and the Most High chose him and made an oath unto him, a covenant unto him. Right, and that covenant is it was established with Yitzhak, with Yaakov, and with the children. But it's one Torah. This is why Hamashiach says, "You are the light of the world," right? because the, the, the because the job, the goal of this one nation was to show forth to the entire world that Yahuwah is the Alua of Alua, the Adonai of Adonai. Bring your God and we going to bury him. Right, 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 right. Why are they prospering? Because they are the image of Yah on earth. This, which, which means in doing that, others would come and say, I want to serve Yahuwah Alua. Yes. You see this with Rahab. We know that your God is doing great things. Right. You have lived in fear for 40 years. Right, right. You see that with uh Ruth and Naomi. Mm -hmm. I will not, I will I cleave myself to you. Your God is my God. Right. So you have you have proselytation is not a new thing, it's it's a perverted thing. Right, right, right. And in its perverseness. They seek to pervert more people. Right. And the reason why is because you have these, these, there's no order. Order was purposely removed because we rejected order. The children, and that's the part that uh, becomes confusing without understanding what, what, what people say. That's the Old Testament. No, that's the Testament. That's right. the, this is a history book. Right. This is a history book of a people who the Most High has set apart and chosen to be a light into this world and to the benefit of the world. And so in this history book, you see the constant de-evolution of man. You see a chosen people, their de-evolution as they can constantly reject the Most High because of the law of sin and death that is governing their hearts as a people, as a nation, because as priests as people. As king, right. as people. You see right. the people prosper when they had righteous priests and a righteous king. And then you see them get destroyed when they, uh, after the long suffering of the Most High, when they rejected, they rejected Torah and decided to study the, the statutes of the nations that he had removed from the Bidia. Yeah. And so in Isaiah, you hear Isaiah saying, you are wise to do evil. You've studied. You have an understanding. You grasp the application of evil, but to do good, you have no knowledge. You have no understanding, right? This was the state of the people. And this was the state when the Most High says, I'm not doing away with all this. Yeah. So by the time that Yahusha comes on the scene, the land is cast into utter confusion. Yes. 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 You have an Edomite as a king. You have a priesthood where your high priest is a brought, paid, and appointed position. This is why Luke points out Yehukanan's parents. Mm -hmm. There's a point on anybody else's lineage from Aaron. Yehukanan was rightfully supposed to be the next heir to the high priesthood. Yeah. So when you don't, if you don't understand the back, the backstory then you can't understand what's happening in these epistles when you have these, 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 these wicked men who call themselves Jews, who call themselves the Yahudim, who are going out and they're going behind the apostles and they're bringing to these people yes. bondage, the same bondage that Yahushua points out. You neither go into the kingdom and you hold up those who would go in. Yes. And so, you, so Torah is complete. Torah is for all people because why a Torah for people? Because what is an abomination will always be an abomination. Absolutely. What is righteous will always be righteous. So there, so that will not change from from a Yahudim, uh, uh, the house of Yasharel, or a Gentile. That does not change. If if he says that sodomy 
is an abomination, it is an abomination. All the time. All the time. If he says don't touch these bottom feeding animals, because for they are an abomination, they are an abomination right. all the time. If he says that eat, don't eat swine, don't touch it for his abomination, it is an abomination all the time. If he say have, have no other gods before me, no other idols, make no images of the of the things in heaven on the earth or beneath, that is an abomination all the time. Sin, according so sin, sin in itself. First John three says, "Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Yah." Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew Him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahuwah, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. And every man that has this hope in Him purifieth himself. Every man. Every man, Jew or Gentile, purify himself even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. The Most High cannot put away his law. He cannot bring an end to his law as long as sin exists. Yeah. The law of sin and death still governs the body of the unrighteous. It still governs the body of the un uh, 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 of those who have not heeded the call because you're still unrighteous. It still governs the world and the world systems. Yes. As long as these things still exist, his law will never go away. And the only way his law goes away, Hamashiach says in... Matthews, Matthews 5, he says, He starts off looking at, uh, starting at verse 13. He says, you're the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. You're not the salt of the Yahudim. You're not the salt of Israel. Yasharel is the salt of the earth. Absolutely. Right? So now we're going to touch on the curses of the law, right? What are the curses of the law? Well, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, where will shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. That is, so Hamaziah has this way of speaking to a people who have been removed from understanding the Torah. And he yeah. speaks to them and gives them complete Torah, right? Because they have a, they have a very, like, outside of his disciples who were looking for him, outside of the followers of Yehuqanan who were looking for him, no one else was looking for him. No, no. no one, uh, uh, absolutely, it, it, absolutely. In in uh, Matthew's chapter one, it was we the, the, we were in such a state that uh, well, you know, check this out though. Listen, right? You, there was no light in the world. There was no light in the world. There, there was, was no, no light. light. Yahushua, Yahushua, when he came into the world. He was the light of the world. He was the light of the, the world. world. Was in darkness. The world was in there darkness. Was, there was no righteousness. There was there was no there, there was, there, there was no righteousness there. in the sense that I mean, there's always Torah. Yeah, there's always Torah. You had to have you had to have you had to have a priesthood that was operating effectively under atonement that could bring a people into Torah and under atonement righteously in order for there to be somebody that had that righteousness, right? Uh, but yeah. you said there, there was no light. Now it doesn't mean that there's not there's not these faithful like 
like your Hukanan, uh, 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 like father, father and mother, who father were righteous, mother, who were righteous, or the Yahudim, who they call it the, the Magi from the East. Those are Yahudim, right, 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 right. They were they came looking for the for for the king, but you didn't have a governing system. You of didn't have a governing yeah. There was no covering of righteousness that right. governed, and, and and so to the point where when the Yahudim from the East came looking. For, for for the king, uh, Hera. Let me see. And they said to him, Hera said, in verse three, when when Hera the king had heard these things, he was troubled. When he heard that there was a king coming, I think either I froze or Elder froze. Lance, you hear me? My yeah, son? I hear you, Roger. That baby. Okay, okay. So Elder froze. Okay. Um. When Herod, the king, had heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. So what he heard was that uh, the wise men uh, came. They came in, um, when Yahushua was born in Bethlehem of Judea. In the days of Herod, the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born king of the Yahudim? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. They were waiting. They seen the star. When Herod the king had heard these things, he felt like an end of his reign was coming. He was troubled. And all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests, the chief priests of, of, of Jerusalem, the chief priests of the people, and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Hamashiach should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets. So we and talking about Christmas? We we're not talking about Christmas at all. There's no Christmas. We're talking about the birth okay. of Christmas. No such thing as Christmas. That that came in the Roman that came through Rome. That there's no such thing as Christian Christmas. Okay. And December twenty fifth has nothing to do with the birth of Yahushua. With this. But what okay. we're talking about here is the state of, of what he was born into. There was no light. There was okay. no standard to govern a people of in righteousness, the chosen people, because the leadership was completely out of order. Herod is an Edomite, but yet he's the king of he's the king of the Jews at this point. Now, okay. when, when the wise men, if you if you read right here in scripture, it says that. For we, it says, saying that the, the, the wise men from the east came, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Yahudim? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. Okay, knowing that the fulfillment of prophecy that would What's bring happening? an everlasting righteous state to the people, the people, the leadership, not just Herod. But the leadership of Jerusalem were troubled. Why would that trouble you? Right? So what did he do? He gathered, he 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 gathered a confederate, he gathered a team to start plotting and to figure out how do they bring this to an end before it even starts. Okay. So it says, and when he had gathered all the chief priests, the chief priests, those who are to be uh executors and governors of righteousness they put to keep the the word before the king keep the torah before the people you know make the sacrifices make the oblations burn the incense they're supposed to do right so that way the presence of yahuwah stayed amongst the people right but okay. yeah here they are plotting with herod to bring an end to hamasia they've been corrupted in the scribe corrupted right so now when you look at uh chapter five, starting at verse 13, Hamashiach is, is coming to tell the people who they are. He says, you are the salt of the earth. And he's to give, he, so he's, he's giving the people who have lost understanding and understanding of Torah. Deuteronomy 28 says you are the salt of the earth. If you keep this Torah, if you're obedient, then you have these blessings. Boom, 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 boom. boom which the world will see. The testimony, the witness of, of Yahuwah will go forth in your in, in you being in right standings. 
But if because they'll see right what there. you got. Hmm? Okay. So it was okay. like we was the example. Like he, you, the world. They, you being in the salt, us being in the salt, and everything that comes to us and how we are will be an example to everyone else. And when they look at it and say, well, how are y'all like that? Then we tell them because we keep Torah. Keep Torah. Salt, seasons, and preserves, right? It's flavor and, mm -hmm. and a preservative. But, um, but but yet, if you don't keep these things, all these curses come upon, upon you. What do those curses boil down uh -huh. to? Being trodden under the foot of men, all men, right? And so right. he says, where will shall it be? He said, you have the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, where will, where will shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men, right? The curses. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So we're going to light the house, and the house going to light the we world. Light. I got Let you. your light so shine before men that they may see your good works, your good works, your good works, because how do you define works? People, they say that the works, like we're reading out of Galatians three, where they say that the works of the law do not, did not, like you didn't, you're not saved by the works of the law. So there's a difference in these works. What are these works, and what are works of the law? Right. Mm -hmm. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I came to destroy the law, or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. If I have not come to destroy, then I have not come to put to an end. It is impossible to put to the end, an end the law and the prophets. He says, Verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled, till all things come into their fullness, till all the prophecy be fulfilled. Right, nothing shall pass. What is what does that mean? That means that in Galatians, not Galatians, in First Corinthians thirteen, when Paul is talking about love, right at the end of this chapter, chapter he says, "Charity never fails, love never fails, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail." Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Why shall prophecies fail? Not if it's a if it's a prophet from the most high, it, it doesn't fail as in as in the fact that it doesn't come to pass. It, he's saying that all things will be fulfilled. All things will be fulfilled. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away with. So when that which is perfect comes, when when Hamashiach comes in his kingdom, it is perfect. There is no the sin. There's no the, the 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 law cannot be transgressed, right? Sin is the transgression of the law. But when there, but when all sin is removed, and we are as He is, and we are in the purest of states as He is, and our minds are have have had the conscience of sin completely removed from them, as His mind has never known sin, right? Now in that state, we are Torah. There's no need for anything to keep us. We are in the fullness of the rural kakodesh as Hamashiach has walked in the fullness of, 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 of the rural kakodesh, right? And in right. that state, in that state, right, all things are fulfilled. Heaven and earth will pass, for there will be a new heaven and a new earth, right? And there, and there will be no need for a giving standard of righteousness because it'll be it, it you are you are it it is all that there is sin has been removed right right this is this is the fulfillment that he's talking about until then the law the law is moved from a tablet of stone and written upon your heart that is the earnestness the earnestness of your expectation with zeal that you have to keep Torah because of the Ruach HaKodesh, right? Because uh, 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 of the atonement which allows you to come back.
because of your belief on the completed work of Hamashiach and the receiving of the Ruach HaKodesh in his name. For he says in, he says in John, Oh no. John 14. He says, Now we'll pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the the, the Ruach Amith, or the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it sees him not. Neither knows him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. They they know him because he dwells inside Hamashiach. But he should also dwell okay. in you, right? And th at, you. This, at this particular time, Hamashiach, um, John the Baptist says, um, I saw the, the Ruach HaKodesh um, fall upon him as a, as a dove, right? And... um. That is the fulfillment of, of scripture. So when John says that in John, John says, and I knew him not, verse 31, and I knew him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore am I come baptizing with water. And John bear record saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it abode upon him. Why is John bearing record of that? Well, Isaiah 11 says in starting at verse one, and therefore, and therefore shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. And a branch shall grow out of his root. And the spirit of Yahuwah shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge. And of the fear of Yahuwah. The fullness. The sevenfold fullness of the royal Kakodesh. Will fall upon him. And in its fullness he will operate. So now in the book of John, um, when when he's telling his disciples he was that the that the father was in a comforter and he would be, he would dwell with you forever, and you will and you know him, and he you know him because he's in him, because he's operating in the fullness of him, but he will dwell in you. And so by him dwelling in you, now there's a oneness with the father. Now we are the image bearers of Yah. Okay. And now we do works. Let your light so shine that 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 people see your good works and glorify your father. Right? The works right. that we do are the works of, are the same works that Abraham did when the Most High told Abraham, "Walk before me and be perfect." And if you do that, here's this covenant. And then he tells, mm -hmm. and then he tells uh, Yitzhak. Yo, I'm going to bless you and your descendants because of your father. I made an oath to your father because he kept my laws, statutes, and commandments. He kept my Amen. Torah, guarded it, right? Right. So mm -hmm. the faith, the faith is, I believe. I believe mm -hmm. in this witness. I believe in the completed works of Hamashiach. I go down in this water. I, I receive, I desire his royal cockledesh. And, yes. and in that, he says, I'm writing this Torah upon your heart and upon your mind. Okay. Upon your heart upon your mind. So the hearing, the hearing of the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. But how can one preach unless one is sent? Everybody can't come preach this word to you. That's a quote right. from Isaiah. Isaiah is saying, Paul is quoting from Isaiah when he says, But well, how can one preach except one is sent? Isaiah is saying that because he was sent. The prophets were sent, the apostles were sent. So it's sent in truth. Okay. They're going to give you the entire word. They're going to give you. They're not going to tell you all you got to do is believe without defining what belief is. Hamashiach says, if you love me, keep my commandments. My Torah. So now, Torah, right? So he boils Torah down to two commandments. Love Yah with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, right? Love your neighbor mm -hmm. as yourself. 
Why does the entire Torah hang on to these two commandments? Because if you love Yah with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you will, you will keep yourself from all impurities, right? right. You guard yourself from, from idolatry. You will guard yourself. You will never take his name in vain. You will guard yourself from any form of idolatry. You will guard yourself from any impurities that defile your temple. You will, you will keep yourself from all abominations. If you love your brother as yourself, then you would do right by your brother. You will never commit. You will never steal from him, lie to him, kill him, harm him. You will never lust after his things, his woman. Right. Like so, in these two, all the laws, the law hinges on this. These two. If I love my brother as myself, but in the same way that I fear Yahuwah, if I see him in sin, understanding that we need Yahuwah, then I'm gonna tell my brother, "Yo, bro, you bugging right now. You gotta clean this." Mm -hmm. Right. right. So this is why he says that the law hinges on these two commandments. If you, but if you don't understand the law, then you can never understand how these two commandments fulfill the law. Right. You know what I'm saying? If like you don't know what that means, mm -hmm. we we have a very watered down, passive and perverted version of love. Love is a feeling. Love is an emotion. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That means that love is a discipline. Right. Yeah. When it breaks down I love agree. in First Corinthians thirteen. It has nothing to do with your emotions. It has nothing to do with your emotions because your emotions can't command this stuff. Uh, uh, uh you, there have to be a will. There have to be a, yeah, a your emotions will distract you from this. Will distract you from it, yo. And so when he says. Though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, I profit me nothing. Though I give into my emotions. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you see somebody homeless and they tug at your heart, and you're like, oh, man, he down bad. What happened when you get that dude some money and that dude go around the corner and change clothes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and buy some beer or something. Yeah. Some, or just go home. We hop in the bins. You know, they got people out here who hustle like this. <laughs> yeah, hustle like this. Go hop if you're not moving in the discernment of the Royal Cockle Desk, which is which which pushes you beyond your emotions to see the actual to see what rock someone's operating in, to see the actual mm -hmm. need, to give a to give a real word of deliverance, to give real assistance, right? And then you move into your emotions, man, you do profit nothing. He says cheer, he says, love right. suffers long. What is the proof of that? The way that our ancestors were sinning, the way that we lived prior to being uh, awakened and coming into this witness, the Most High kept us. He was long suffering with us. That's love. Mm -hmm. hey, we, should, right. we should forget being killed. We probably should have never been born because our people should have been right. killed off. Just for, for like the generation should have been obliterated for for the way they were living in, and we kept living in those same ways. This is this is the long suffering yeah. of the Most High, right? This is not emotional. A uh, uh, charity vaunt of not itself is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly. Which, so you not you can't if you rule by emotions, you are gonna have some out like you know what I'm saying like the thing that emotions mm -hmm. move you in. None of that has anything to do with love, right? And this is why right. says, when I when I was a child, I thought as a child because that's childish. Children right. are, emotional. but when I became a man, right. a man, I put away childish, childish things. things. And that's in in that's a direct reference to what David told Solomon when he was still yet a child. For Solomon became king at 19. And David said, Be a man. Be a man. It's, it is time. Mm -hmm. And in telling him that what he defined as being a man was keeping Torah. It's keeping Torah. Keeping Torah. Yeah. Right? I'm getting somewhere thing. today. First Kings. Be a man. I gotta write that down. It says, um, David told Solomon, Now the days of David grew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show yourself a man, and keep the charge of Yahuwah thy thy Allah, to walk in his ways to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turns thyself. Go right back to Genesis 26 real quick. Well, Genesis 17, 
He, Mosai tells Abraham, and when Abram was 90 years old and nine, Yahuwah appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am the almighty Yah. Walk before me and be thou perfect. All right? And then you look at 26.5. We will know we're going just, 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 just doubling down on this. And he tells Yitzhak as when he 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 he, he the most high visits Yitzhak and says, Um, I I will give you, I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham, thy father, and I will make your seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, your seed. Because I've made an oath to Abraham, I'm going to make Yitzhak's seed uh, uh multiply as the stars of heaven, and I will give unto mm -hmm. your seed all these countries and in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed in your seed and in in, your in, seed. in in Yitzhak seeds now he tells Yaakov the same thing so you see okay. a choosing a choosing a choosing Abraham walks up right he tells Yitzhak he didn't doesn't tell Ishmael this he tells Yitzhak this Yitzhak walks up right he tells Yaakov this he doesn't tell Esau this he tells Yaakov this but he's but he's and he tells him the same thing that and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Thou King David is telling Solomon to do this very same act. We understand what okay. we understand that in faith. We're going to trust Yahuwah. And the proof that we trust right. Yahuwah is that we're going to keep all these things, believing in him to take care of all things because he, he made an oath. Right. Now, this is faith. Why? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. They weren't alive to see the blessing of Abraham, right? They weren't alive right. to see him talk to your check, but they believe. They are standing but on they believe. And operating, right? Operating in the right. truth, they weren't there to see the the, the the Torah given to Moshe, but they believe and they are operating in truth. They make atonements of bulls and lambs and goats, believing this to keep them. Right, so they right. believe this is like in Hebrews it says that the same gospel that was preached to you was preached to them of old, but they didn't mix it with faith. As a nation, like like the the, the children they didn't believe, the world, didn't believe. So now when 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 Paul is saying to the Galatians. Yo, did you start by the works of the Lord? Did you start by the hearing of faith? You started and were saved by the hearing of faith onto good works. But at the time, they had these wicked people, these wicked Jews coming behind, telling them that you got to make these atonements. You got to do it this way. Pulling them away from Hamashiach. From what the world say. Right. And that's what happens in the world today. And what happened in the world today is, is, is far more sinister because they tell them to take Hamashiach but throw out all... all all standards of righteousness. Christianity right. has an undefined love. They can't They're define their easy. love. So it's easy, right? Mm -hmm. And then if Paul, I mean, John, Yehukanan says that sin is the transgressions of, of transgressions, transgressions of the Torah, right? And so you purify yourself from sin. You purify yourself, which means that you're actually keeping Torah because that is how you are sin. If I'm keeping Torah, I'm not sinning. The problem right. is man has no way to keep Torah. And so when Paul talks about the curse of the law, he is talking about the curses in Deuteronomy 28. When he talks about the bondage, he is talking about the bondage of the law of sin and death, which is what which is what came into this world through Adam, right? That governs okay. all of us. This is why none of us can keep Torah. It is not because Torah is broken, but the under but the 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 doctrinal the doctrinal teaching that's been passed down is that if you try to keep Torah, if you break one, you break them all. The gift of the Ruach Hakodesh is to write Torah upon your heart that you heart. establish Torah. You establish Torah. Because the sin is the breaking of sin itself is the transgression of Torah. So there's no way that the Mosai is throwing Torah out because it's too hard. He's fixing right. you too broken. Right. He's giving you a path so He's that you can be you a, strong exactly. enough to walk it out. So you but you have to him. accept the path, That's which the path. is going to get in that go to get in that water. And come out with the raw cockroach, which is going to guide you and put Torah on your heart. Put Torah on your heart, write it upon your mind. 
that we said that uh, I keep your Torah before me and keep myself from my iniquities, right? I keep myself from my iniquity because I keep your Torah before me. So I'm on the forefront of my mind to govern myself according to this word. Now, if you're able to throw out Torah, then then there's no light in the world anymore because you're throwing Hamashiach out. You're throwing out Hamashiach. Right. Mm -hmm. He says, I did not come to destroy the law and the prophets, but to fulfill them. In him, we have fulfillment of law and prophets because it's written upon our heart. We are now establishing Torah in the earth again. In Hamashiach. Okay. When okay. someone... One person at a time. One, yeah, right? Because... If I throw out, there's no way that. Well, first of all, we know that the 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 rock of death will not stay in an unclean vessel. So if I'm putting unclean things in my vessel, I'm an unclean vessel. I don't trust his word. I don't mm -hmm. have any faith in his word. If if, if, right. if I believe that he that that when people say, "Oh, the most he hates sin, but he loves the sinner," you got to show me that verse. There's no verse. <laughs> right. That's not that said that. All right. He says, come as you are. He doesn't say stay as you are. Right. You return to Torah and you let go of all things. You let go. You walk up right before him. All right. This is this is how uh, the fulfillment happens. So this will win. I'm going to shoot back to Galatians 3. Three, three, all that. Yeah. And so, so he says, so in Galatians 3, now he's saying, he therefore that ministereth to you the spirit and work of miracles among you, doeth he by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith, even as Abraham believed Yah, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. That's why we're going through, because the confusion would be that if you haven't read any part of how of what Abraham's righteousness was, you have no idea what Paul is talking about. You think, oh, well, you, right. about you saying, I believe and having this emotional attachment to your so-called belief, then you're okay. But people have emotional attachment to their relationships and no discipline to keep them faithful. So they're adulterers. Right. People have emotional attachments to making promises that they have no intention to keep. They know when they're lying, but their emotions are driving them. So what is your belief right. tied to? What is your faith tied to? What is the discipline that's governing you? And if you don't have the rural cockadesh, you're not governed by any discipline. And this is what this is the bondage that Paul was talking about, where he had he knew Torah, so he knew to do right. Mm -hmm. But he had this other this other thing working in his in his members. He had no okay. discipline. He had no power to to fulfill what he knew to be right. Oh, what a wretched man that I am. Right. And so now when he now in believing that there is an atonement, forgiveness, not just covering, but a cleansing and forgiveness, right? So that I am a temple able to be filled with the rural kakodesh, I'm free. I'm free to keep Torah. It's in my heart. It's not a work anymore. It's in my heart. I believe. I don't need I don't need to be convinced. You, you can tell me. It's it's in my mind. The standard mm -hmm. is there, right? And I'm in relationship because of it. But to throw out Torah, to say that I'm, I am no longer bound by the law of Moses, but by the law of Christ, because that is a thing. That is a Christian thing. The law of Christ. Mm -hmm. Define it. But ask anybody mm -hmm. to define the law of Christ. Oh, the law of Christ. I got to love God and love my brother. Define that. Mm -hmm. Because the only way to define that is Torah. Right, right. Through the statutes, through the statutes. Yeah. That's it. If I love the Most High, I will not commit an abomination. I will right. not defile my temple. I will not give into what I will not give into any false gods, any idolatry. I will uphold the standard that He has set. If I love my brother, then I will do no harm to him. And the scripture has defined harm. I will not lust after anything that is his. I will not commit. I will not lie to him. I will not murder him. I will not steal from him. And if I truly love him and I love the most high, then when I see him and knowing that the things that he are doing 
are is detrimental to his relationship with the Most High, I will rebuke him, correct him in love. That's love. This is this is why the law hangs on these two commandments. So if you're saying that this is the law of Christ, then understand the law of Christ is the entirety of the Torah. But you can't understand these two commandments if you throw Torah out. If you think you can throw up the Sabbath, I can worship on any day. Yes, the Torah is a day of, I mean, the Sabbath is a day of rest. You can worship the Most High right. on any day. You're right. The Shabbat is a day of rest made for man. It's a day mm -hmm. called Desht, where no work should be done. I heard someone recently bring up Matthews 12 because he went on a walk. A walk is not work because they, right. pop, so they, 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 they pluck the heads of grains. That is not work because he healed somebody. That is not work. Work produces money. Work produces burden and labor. Take on no burden. Healing somebody is removing a burden. <laughs> but the misinterpretation of it has convinced people that there is no Shabbat. There is no way to keep it because Hamashiach fulfilled it. He's done away right. with it. He's, he made it. He said that it's made for man. And thus being made for man, man has a right to live wickedly on it. And, and not adhere to the word. These are the things that govern the majority of our people. And they will fight you tooth and nail on this truth with no biblical backing. With no understanding, hanging on to one scripture, not being able to put line upon line, precept upon precept upon precept. This is what we are. We have to stand against and enlighten in love, because in love means that I'm not. You can't move me. We gonna go in on this word, and this isn't an argument. This is love. You are going to hell. You are walking in an abomination. You're an unclean vessel. You have never known the Ruach HaKodesh. He would never right. dwell within you. Right. This is it. There is but, and, 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 and Paul would never tell the Gentiles not to keep Torah because Hamashiach says, you're the light of the world, the salt of the earth, which means that you bring flavor and preservation to everything you touch when you're walking in Torah. Right? And so he's giving them Torah. They can't right. eat abominable foods. They do worship on Shabbat and rest on Shabbat. They are, right. they, they, they are not given in the idols. Right. They are operating in love. This is why you in Corinthians, you have a ver the chapter of love. They're operating in the fullness, in the discipline of the rural Kakodesh, which is the love of Yahushua. Because Yahusha only came to fulfill the words of the Father. He ain't giving oh, your mother and your sister, your mother and your brother want you. He wasn't moved by his emotions. He said, Who's my mother and my brother? But those do the will right. of God. That's love. He didn't jump down from what he was doing and run to them. Well, I love them. I gotta put them first. The father's will. If they doing the father's will, they my brothers and my sisters. They my mothers. That's it. They my family. They, they my all, mother. That's it. They already good. They already good because they they're really you know, following the plan. He set the standards of what it is, and the trickology is that somehow the, the the apostles have been positioned to 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 say, establish, and do otherwise. And that's what we up against. So that 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 is why we 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 cry loud and spare not. And we don't do it. We do it in love. We don't do it how they do it, you know, in, in, in uh, under the cloak of being uh, the, the people where they telling people how they're going to be slaves and they're going to hell and, you know, all the other wild stuff. There's no need. Right now is the time to say, come on to this ark. Come on to this ark. Return. Return. Because that's going to happen if you don't. Get it right. If you don't, then that's waiting for you. That's a no. Like, yes, that's there. You are you are living in a delusion and in technology. Just come out of all of it. And, and so that's what that's where we are. That's what we have to be. This is how we be the light. That's it. I'm gonna stop there.
You here? Or did I go? Okay, I just want to make sure that I ain't. Nah, you in there. Uh, you in there. I hear you. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. All right. Trying to tell these kids, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I already know. Yeah. I trust me. I, I'm going to have to get them look. look, look. <laughs> right. Like, I'm busy. Right. Gonna, like, not right now. Yeah, you you want to sit down and catch some of this talk or you, you go on about yourself now? I'm right? going out the way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. Listen, I was I, I needed that, man. Being a man is keeping tour. That's that stuck with me right there. Because I'm all about that. Trying to be a man, right? I'm telling everybody be a man. And now I actually got, you know, some details to go with it. Yeah. The the so, uh, the discipline, not to be it's the, the, and love you. is discipline, yeah. not an emotion. That's not crazy emotion. right there. When when you really think about it, when you say love is a discipline, it's true. Because when you even even in the people form, like I love my wife, right? So what do I do? I, I, I do everything I can not to defile her, not to, do you know what I mean? So it's the same thing in terms of what we're talking about. It's like if you love them and you got to keep these tours and you got to you gotta have the discipline to not do anything against that relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it makes perfect sense. That, that was, you brought it today. I needed that for sure. Yeah, man. That's what that's that's the uh, that's the battle cry for us, man. That we gonna walk in the real Kakodesh and in the discipline of the real Kakodesh. I mean, we gonna fulfill it all because he's given he's given right. it, he's given it to us to fulfill to live a, a, a life that is that he approves of. He approves of not right. that we feel comfortable with. You know what I mean? Not that is easy mm -hmm. for, but that he approves of. Which you know, go and, and that's the and that's what, but that's really what put it all together because that's the difference. Like when you go to church, it's like you said, "He loves you, just come as you are," and so on and so forth. But there's really no work in it. It's like I could be in the club last night, as long as I make it to church Sunday, I'm good, right? But now it makes you actually have, like you said, substance. Where it's like, no, this is the what you got to do. Nothing in life is free, right? We already know that you can't get nothing on this planet for free. So it's like now you now I understand at least for me it's like tour is the way. If you want to get on, you want to get into this. This is what you got. This is the work. And it, just because there's a New Testament doesn't erase the first one, right? It doesn't erase everything that came before that. You know what I mean? So now it's 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 it's, it's more it's more. I'm more. I'm understanding it more completely, and I, that's why I, I successfully put down the pork, the shellfish, and the lobster. That's right. <laughs> right? After we had that, after we had that talk about the abomination, and you made that, that um, you made that what they call it. You, you you gave me that analogy, and I was like, "Yo, I never do that." Like, mm -hmm. nah. so I got to take that same approach when it comes to that stuff, and that's what made it more simple for me. Like, an abomination is an abomination, and I ain't trying to be an abomination. So that's, that's gotta right. go. But that's fake. It's got to right? be a hard stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be a hard stop. No. Nah. My wife cooking shrimp right now. Oh, I'm gonna make a shrimp bowl tonight. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm gonna get some fish. We'll get some snapper or something like that. I think today I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce snapper into my shabbat today. Yeah. Right? I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to it. If you're done, I got questions. Right? So I'm trying to book this flight, y'all. But yeah. if you going if y'all driving down on Wednesday, the plane obviously gonna get there faster than y'all. Because these flights is leaving at like six in the morning. No, I'm touching we, down at like eleven. No, nah, we driving down um the day before. Um so we're gonna leave Tuesday. I mean we can't we're leaving like like midnight. So the thing is, is that we can't check in till four o'clock. So we can um Okay. We can we can grab you from the airport, but we should be there probably like around one or two. Okay, so I need to come in after one or two. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, to make sure y'all get there. Yeah, because because the other thing is that we just can't check in till like they don't love they don't allow check in till four o'clock. Four o'clock. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's cool. Because I'm coming, y'all. It's a go. I'm in the building. He's <laughs> not. It's happening. So I hope y'all ready. Yeah. Now, yeah. Oh, if you need me to send you a couple of dollars for my beads, let me know because I I send you the few dollars so you can make the beads for me. No, 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 no. I ain't got to pay me for the beads, man. Uh, and the staff? I'm going to get the beads and the staff, right? The staff? The staff?
I don't have, but I'm riding a motorcycle, so I ain't gonna be able to. Oh, carry that's it. right. Because uh, you're coming on a motorcycle. That's the mm -hmm. only thing. If I decide to drive the truck, you know, um, what I'm gonna do is it's gonna all depends on the weather. You know, if the weather looks like it's right. gonna be hella bad, like rain and all that, you know, you're then drive the truck. Truck, right? But but if if but if if it looks pretty good. Then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to uh, drive the uh, I ride the motorcycle just because it's just it's more enjoyable <laughs> for me. <laughs> I got you. Okay. So uh, yeah, but that's 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 what I'm thinking, you know. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no. The beats, no, nah, that'll be there. That'll be there, and the staff will be done too. Like I said, it's just gonna be a matter of you know. I'm excited, y'all. Can y'all tell? Go ahead, get it. <laughs> What, yeah, he's what excited, is that? He's, he excited. I'm excited. <laughs> right. I, like, I'm excited, bro. Like, I'm ready. I was just, I, me and my wife was just looking at flights. We we messed up because we saw the flight at, like, 292 round trip. And we didn't pull the trigger right then because I was trying to figure out, like, am I going to go Wednesday or am I going to go Friday? Because I had started having a little bit of anxiety about it. Like, I'm going to the place. You know, I never met these guys before. I'm going to be sleeping. You know, just New York shit. And I started having an exact and I called my dad. I was like, Dad, I don't know. And he was like, son, you good. Donnie, Donnie, listen, just go, son. You good. If you're rocking with it and you did your research and you with it, it's okay. Just go. Don't let nothing stop. And I was like, okay. I'm gonna go win. I'm gonna go Wednesday. I'm, I'm gonna go my, my wife was like, damn it, this morning she hit me like, well, if you go Wednesday, that's perfect, because those are my days off. You know, I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And if I need to take off. The Sunday you come back, I could just take that off because it's like a month away. So that way you can go and get the full experience of, you know, the whole thing. And I was like, yo, that's dope. So now I'm set. I'm just trying to hope I can get that price to come back down. So we're going to wait till Tuesday and see if the price come back down. And then yeah. I'm going to book, book my ticket. And I wanted to make sure I got the timing right so I know y'all going to be there. Make sure y'all are there because, you know, the plane going to get there quick. Yo, I man, wanna, this, you know, this is in Columbia, right? I mean, in Charlotte? Charlotte is where we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? That's yeah, South yeah. Carolina. That's North Carolina. That's what I thought. Charlotte, Charlotte. North Carolina. Charlotte, no, Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte's in North Carolina. Yeah. It's a, it's a Charlotte in both. It's, it's a Charlotte in both. Oh, oh it is? Yeah, yeah, but we, we okay. in North we, Carolina. Do the Charlotte okay. in, North in North Carolina. South Carolina. Okay. Okay. A Charlotte in North Carolina, too. All right, yeah, yeah, nah, man. Uh, you know it's gonna be a go. Like I said, uh, uh, I'm excited about it. You know, I think we're gonna have a real good time in the Most High, yeah. and um, too. You know, uh, you know, it's going to be a good opportunity for us to nail down some things that we we looking to do yeah. in the coming month in yeah. terms of uh, you know um, the whole business move and and uh, making that that um, Africa trip. Mm -hmm. Um, our feet went to figure out what we're looking at, but uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about yeah. it. You it's know, gonna uh, well, it's gonna be a good time, man. It's gonna be a good time. I'm you know? I'm in the building. You know, you know, because we gonna get opportunity to you know to do some things together. You know, I mean, right. uh, you know, we ain't gonna be shut up and shut in all the time. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're right. going to need to go some things, do some things together, fellowship, and uh, and uh, and do some things that way. Um, and uh, like I said, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You know, it's, it's a beautiful thing to serve the most high. It's a beautiful thing to, uh, you know, to know that, um, you know, you a son. You know, you, you're locked in. Yeah, you right. know, then all you just need to do is by that rule walk of truth, keep them laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, and then when you mess up, correct it quick, make quick, right. quick, quick corrections, you know, <laughs> do what you need to do, and the most I take care of you, so, but, um, yeah, man, that's it, you know, I mean, uh, I know the lesson was good, I, you know. I, it was, I, it was, all, it was I, good, it was. I think it's in my area is not now, because oh. it just, it's not working at all, so, um, uh, and I told my wife it's been sporadic like that at times, you know, where uh, the internet was having issues. So, 
You know, it could be them. It could be China. You know, it could be Russia. <laughs> Nah, man, it's probably just a service outage in your area. <laughs> so, so you seen they got like that uh that huge blob of seaweed heading towards Florida, right? <laughs> Can you yeah. see that? No, man, it's like um they 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 you know they said that it's like um five hundred miles wide. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, the space down. You can see it. Yeah, like they they said that they get like they got, they said it's so big and it has an odor to it and it's heading right towards uh Florida. That's that ain't surprised, that's, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Like that that might be China. China might be. <laughs> it, it, it might be because China's slick, boy. They put some balloons <laughs> in the air and just let them float. <laughs> they, said they said they said that it's um it's coming. It's going to hit Florida. Like it's so wide. It's going to hit Florida and Mexico. Like that's how uh -huh. it's, it's so big. That's going to hit Florida and Mexico. That's, yeah. that's what did they say? Did they give a time? No, nah, they just said it's floating that way. You know, I don't know. These people, these people always saying something. But I ain't saying it ain't coming, yeah. but you know. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. It's seaweed. It, but, uh, you really get seaweed. You can just go. What does that mean? Yeah, but but listen, man. I'm gonna tell you something. We get that uh red tide. That red tide is up. Yeah. It's tough. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it messes breathing. It, it, it's tough. So, you know, I mean, if it comes this way, it's it's gonna be tough. So, but you know, at the end of the day, I ain't got no problem. Yeah. You know. So the red the red I mean, tide is, is the algae, right? It's that it's the algae that yeah. coming? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's the bloom, the algae bloom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, matter of fact, they said we had a little of that the last few days. You know, but ain't no bottom feeders. I know, but is that why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, now nah, my, 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 my wife just said that's all of the bottom feeders supposed to be eating. I said, but ain't no bottom feeders. We they, not we, but you know, they 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 harvest. Yeah, they them scooping the them up in droves. Yeah, so you know, you yeah. get algae build up. You get stuff building up because yeah. they got what's in the ocean to clean it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, man, listen, uh. I don't know. You you close it out, oh, Aki? You good? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I close out. Sure? Yeah. All right, cause yeah. what you do is give it to me when you get it done. Yeah, you know. <laughs> when you <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I got to on it because I ain't hear it all. So you know, you was rolling. Right. So, yeah. uh, but uh, now we gonna we gonna bless the Most High. We gonna close out in prayer and. Um, um, you know, if you ain't got no questions, hey Lance, you all good? You got any questions or anything else you need to hit on? Nah, nah, we talked about it as he was going through, you know, when we when I had the little questions, we we, we kind of went through it right at, at that time. So I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Well then I'm gonna go ahead and close out in prayer and then you yeah. know y'all enjoy the rest of the spot, you know, and uh, you know, I may touch base with you a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but if if but if I don't, you know, the most of the time is 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 with you, and all you gotta do is continue to do what you need to do. So, Abba Yahuwah, we give you praise right now for your Ruach Akodesh. We give you praise for the witness, the water, the blood, and the Ruach Akodesh in us. Abba, we praise you, and we look forward to Pesach. We look forward to the time of fellowshipping with you in Passover. We look forward to the to the baptism of these ox in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. We give you praise, Yahuwah, for all that you are going to do in the midst of us. Abba, we are nothing without you. But we are sons and daughters. If we have been born again of the water of the Ruach HaKodesh, and we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, then we have a covenant with you. We have a contract of covenant. You are our binding to your covenant to us. And I thank you, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, for the forgiveness of sins. Yahweh, I thank you that our sins have been forgiven. Yeah, we are not in bondage anymore. We are not slaves to it anymore. We can do that which pleases you in all righteousness, and we give you praise. And on this year, Shabbat, I give you praise for rest. Rest from our labors, Abba. I give you praise for rest, and I give you praise for peace. I give you praise for shalom, Abba Yahuwah. I thank you. And I pray, Yahuwah, that you would continue to cause your word 
to have free course in my Aki as he continues to teach your word. Yahuwah, that your word would have free course in my young Aki in the name of Yusha Mashiach as you lead him to the water and, 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 and fill him with your Ruach. And Yahuwah, I just pray that you would strengthen this got all family in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Um, I thank you. I let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. 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 And, and now, Lance, uh, do you you got yeah. a Hebrew? You got a name that you want in Hebrew? Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.